This is Twit. Who is, tell us who Kathy Sierra is, Gina. Uh, Kathy is a technologist and an author of many educational programming books for years and years and years, early, early blogger. Um, great writer. Really, Just a yeah, great writer. Powerful great writer. Great work. Big, great speaker, a teacher. I would, I would call her a teacher, but in, in, in technology. And uh, short, long story short, 2007, she um, is, you know, people are starting to pay attention to her work because she does really good, good work, and she gets trolled by an infamous troll, and um, horribly attacked by tons of people who dox her and publish her uh, social security number and home ad address and a bunch of lies about her, um, her, her, her family so and her kids and her work, and she goes offline because she's afraid for her safety and for her family's safety. And she comes back online, oh, I don't know, the last year, 2013, yeah. I think, under a different handle, Serious Pony, and starts to publish a little bit more. And I don't know, maybe maybe I should I should pass this over to you. Her troll was involved in a court case. Weave. Uh, Weave, uh, right, was involved in a court case. And, and this is the thing, and this is where I got in a little bit of trouble, because Weave's, the case against Weave was terrible. It was another one of those yes. Department of Justice bogus prosecutions. Right. It was a computer fraud and abuse act. Uh, 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 right. It was overreach. I mean, it was the it was it was a terrible lawsuit. But this guy's. But also Weave a terrible is person. a hideous person. He's hideous. Exactly. Uh, he was the guy who apparently doxed Kathy Sierra. He admitted it. In New York Times. Now he denies it. Yeah, um, now he denies it. He admitted it. Uh, not a nice person. Really kind of in many ways, and she talks about this, not just a troll, but a sociopathic troll with real skills. That's kind of yes. the worst possible. Extremely smart, smart, extremely manipulative. Ex yes, uh, uh, just a, a constant liar. And, you know, what got hard, what got difficult for her and, and what I can't imagine must have been surreal for her is that, you know, a lot of people in the tech community support you know, were, were against the case against him, right? Because it was a bad case against him, separate from we what were he torn. Did to her. We were torn because yeah. this was, you know, he downloaded, He it turned out at and had misconfigured its servers and you could get emails of customers, iPad users, very simply with a script. So he did it. He downloaded something like 114,000 addresses. As far as anybody knows, never did anything malicious with him, although that doesn't, I mean, given his personality, I don't know. But the yeah. prosecution seemed misguided and, and they were really going for uh, the, the, the works. Um, on the other hand, it's hard not to celebrate this, getting this guy in jail. Cause he's a creep. Right. right. Cause he's, cause he's a horrible creep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what she's talking about in this, and it's a very powerful article is how, you know, she, this happened to her 10 years ago. Um, and the hell it's, doesn't go away. And, it, and it's gotten worse and worse. And yeah. And she's making an interesting point because, you know, I'm the one who says, well, just ignore them. They'll go away. And she says it doesn't work. She has, she has a great list here, you know, your choices. Uh, one, leave, they win. Two, ignore them. They escalate, make your life more miserable. DDoS, ruin your career, et cetera, they win. Three, fight back. If you've already hit the Kool-Aid point, which I'll describe in a second, see option two, they win. The Kool-Aid point is brilliant. I think she's, it's a real insightful point, which is that, that it's not so much that your troll hates you, the troll hates the attention you're getting. And you don't deserve that. And, and, and you're all Especially wrong. Especially if you're a woman. Especially if you're a woman in tech. Then you really don't deserve it. Right. That's the, the right. logic. And but, so but this campaign of discrediting, win. you know, begins. You slept your way to the top. You, <sighs> you know, you, you, you made all this up. You're actually, you know, whatever. You, uh, all the things. And actually, Anita Sarkeesian did this great talk at, at XOXO about how, how the ways in which trolls kind of discredit women. And all those the, those things were, were done to Kathy. Just lies basically about her she and and things would escalate like she she posted this blog comment a comment on a blog saying that she supported people who moderated their blog comments and that escalated into this giant lie about how she had issued dmca complaints against websites and had people censored and so she herself was a censor and against like net you know a free and open web and people would just these these stories would just sort of grow and the meme would catch on and and then suddenly she was someone who hated you know a free and open web because she had said in a blog comment she thought someone should be able to moderate the comments on their own blog i mean like insane surreal i cannot believe what this woman has been through kind of moments 
And 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 the thing, I mean, it is. It's surreal and it's beyond appalling and disgusting. And she's felt, you know, fear for her life and and such. And it's the extreme. Well, but, but it's a, not really an outlier. That's the that's the point. Well, yeah. What I was what I'm saying is, is it, it might seem like an extreme. And there's a lot of that, but there's also a lot that's short of that that is also irritating and difficult and 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 not good for the net. Well, and uh, if you rage. wonder why there aren't more women in tech. Because I think there, I think there are very few women, publicly visible women in tech, who haven't experienced this in some form or fashion. Am I very right? Very few, very very few. Yeah, you know, one of one of our ThinkUp's investors uh, DM me and said, "Have you ever experienced anything like this? It just seems oh. like." You know, he seems like you've, you, you know, you're a little more visible. Is this common? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I can tell you stories. And, and I've talked about it a little bit here, and I, I won't go into my whole thing. But I, I love that Kathy made, she differentiated between, and, and this is something I know that's like subjective and you know it when you see it, but she differentiated between like mean, being mean to someone and then stalking them, right? There's like saying to someone like, you know, you're fat and stupid, online is like someone being mean on the internet, okay, block, ignore, whatever. And then there's like, I've taken a, a, a photo of your child and superimposed them on a, on a porn image and published that. Or, or, you know, I've published your, your home address and it encouraged other people, egged other people on to go show up there, right? And there's, there's a difference between those two things, a big She talks difference. about uh, um, trolls posting uh, flashing images in epileptic uh, forums designed to put people in fits. Yeah, and to, to induce seizures. To induce mm -hmm. seizures. And it's for the lulls, and that makes it okay. And people go, oh, well, that's terrible, but it's sure funny. It's not. It's horrible. It's horrible behavior. The reason I bring it up, you know, I mean, look, if you're a celebrity, if you're a movie star, this happens all the time, and and the 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 general thing is just not to mention it and not to you know yeah. you have security you'll go to the police you know if there's a, a, a fear for your life or a, a tangible threat and they will because you're a celebrity they will prosecute and we see that happen but what we don't see happen is this kind of continuous drumbeat that goes on all the time what's changed is now first of all it's many 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 more people are exposed to it and the tools for doing it like uh, and Twitter comes up again and again in this, and Kathy talks about Twitter. Uh, our new technological tools really facilitate this, and it. And I'm starting to feel like we're taking a really bad turn here. Uh, yeah. the, it's, well, you know, it's a couple not, weeks ago, I said, you know, we had the case of the naked celebrity photos and and the beheading videos, and I argued on the show. I don't know if it was last week when you were off, Leo, but I argued that that we might be heading to a point where I saw people say it's wrong to share them, it's wrong to look at them, and I saw the beginnings of a norm come out. That's among civilized people. There's a huge swath of people who aren't civilized or who are, in fact, and we've had this story on too, uh, trolls are psychopaths. They she are says that as well. She says that um, as well, that Weave is a sociopath. And it, you know, and, and, and I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in huge trouble here because I'm gonna I'm gonna make an equivalency that I don't mean to make at all. Okay, and, and I don't want also want to mention this guy again at all. But but my little mini thing of my imposter who promised to change the name hasn't. No. Not a man of his word. He just went into LO and and used my name there. Um, <laughs> you know, this is a guy who has a respectable job in a company oh. with trust in its name. That's all I'll say. And and I can't trust him. He is not a man of his word. He's he's a lying little creep. Um, and now when I say say that, guess what's going to happen? I'll get crap now for not, I don't have any humor and I'm not this and uh, f you all. Um, you know, it's just it, it, the fact that people think they have a right to irritate other people. The fact that if you're in any the, the weirdest part of the, the pathology of this is interesting to me is that if you are in the least bit famous, people think that they can go after you. By least bit famous now means that you publish anything to the public. That well, means if you have a Twitter account, it and, means if you have a blog. And that's kind of what Kathy means, Sierra is saying is just by sticking your head up in the world means that people are going to want to try to cut you down. And yes. uh, by, especially if you're a woman who sticks her head up, that's really not okay. Right. Yeah, and for the first time in history and in culture, we have a whole group of people who are like famous enough 
to not have bodyguards, right. but famous enough to have stalkers, right? right? Like, right. and the system isn't built to deal with them. And and I, I know I went to the police when, when I was ha- when I ha- had had my guy, and they they couldn't do anything. You know, like you have to have pr- I, whatever. I, I won't go into the details, but they they really basically are just not not equipped and and can't help you uh, unless that's what you, she says. She says they're not specific. interested. Yeah. They're not they're not interested. They're not equipped, and you know, there's bigger bigger things going going on in the world. Uh, I guess. You know, it's a in my situ- yeah. I mean, oh. you know, I mean, Leo, you went through this a little bit when when the, when the issue happened with with your daughter. Yeah. You know, it's like you have to have a, a documentation of a credible threat right within your state, um, and it has to be said in a certain way that there's no w- way that you can be misinterpreted any other way. You know, and these guys know how to you know skirt skirt the line and and send you creepy pictures and write things about you that make you know that they they know all these things about you right without making a direct threat. I mean, there's it's and you know like the police they're like print out the emails and the tweets i mean literally like that's what's that's what goes on uh that's the level level that yeah, they're they at so they they're, the it's skills. useless yeah the uh, you know jennifer lawrence said it's a sex crime it's not even a, a crime it's a sex crime yes. i don't know that if was that, we can an debate amazing, that but i think she's amazing right. response her response to that whole situation the fact that she said that was a sex crime and anyone who looked at my photos without my permission was per- perpetuating that crime that was just such a huge, I mean, she's the first celebrity, you know, every other celebrity is generally women, right? Who's had leaked nudes have apologized. Oh, it was a lapse in judgment. I'm very sorry. They were shameful. Scarlett Johansson kind of played it all. It was a Scarlett Johansson. I forget which one was like, oh, I know my best angle was kind of coy about it. I love that Jennifer Lawrence yes. came straight up and said, I was about to write an apology. And then I thought, I don't have anything to apologize for. I, th- this was a sex crime. That was an incredible. That interview is in uh, Vanity, Vanity Fair. Fair. Ironically, yeah. owned by the same company that owns Reddit, uh, <laughs> which I doubt she knew. Uh, Honda, she might yeah, have thought about yeah. going somewhere else to do this. But nevertheless, it got uh, the attention it deserved. And I, I, you can't disagree with her. Here's the reason I bring this up. We, we had, I had such high hopes for the Internet as of being a democratizing medium. And uh, a lot, a number of people said, even in the earliest days, yeah, but it's going to give people of who shouldn't have a voice a voice. And I always said, you know, if it's in the light of day, this stuff, the really bad stuff has to stay under a rock to survive. In the light of day, in the free, you know, agora, the, the marketplace, it'll go away. It'll shrivel up. It'll dry up in the sun. And, and the true nature of humans will triumph. And I'm afraid I was really wrong. And it's very no, sad no, to me. I, I, I'm, I'm not ready to give up. Uh, not by a long shot. I, I, again, and I, and I point to the to Jennifer Lawrence case. I think that people ra- all in all rallied around. You didn't see them spread all around. You, you heard people say, no, don't even look at them. That would be wrong. Um, there are always going to be trolls, assholes, sickos, creeps, idiots, crud buckets in the world, right? They're always going to be there. They always have been. They always will be. Now, you're right. You, you, your point you're making, the, the Internet makes them more visible, only because we link to them, only because we say, hey, look at the fight, fight, look over at that. Well, don't we, we need to... It's not their fault. They're, you said, they're, they're you said norms that. would fix this, but norms aren't I, fixing this. Not yet, no, but I'm saying, I, but, but this takes time. You know, insert Gutenberg lecture here. Uh, 150 years to invent the newspaper. It takes time for these norms to take over. When I when I was researching the Telegraph, and I've got you know from from, from my my from 1860 1858 to 1885, they still hadn't figured it out. Yeah, it was, the Telegraph was still causing people problems. They were still oh my God, people were getting married over the Telegraph, and this is dangerous. Um, women have to stay away from the Telegraph. 1865, women have to stay away from the Telegraph because it'll it'll expose them to the coarse uh, corners of the world. A New York Times letter said. Yeah, but imagine um, <laughs> what that New York Times writer would think today about the coarse corners of the world. Yeah, but 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 a don't 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 for part of the problem is. Uh, so I I spent my flight back from from San Francisco last week writing an essay that I'm trying to place somewhere in German media. I'm starting with the, the Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung about the German problem, and and at the end of it, what I argue is that we've got to also have a discussion about the wonder. And the entire discussion now has been taken over by the techno panics and the protectionists and the controllers and the negatives and the trolls. There's also amazing and wonderful things going on with this net. 
and, and, and I argue that we ought to have, uh, I've, said, I've said on the show before, a world's fair of the net. Yes, there's crap, but there's also a countervailing wonder that's occurring that we're ignoring, we're not talking about. We're, 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 we're looking at all the bad stuff that comes up. We're allowing that to win the conversation. And we're also, it's the fault of the public for giving exposure to trolls, imposters, bozos, etc. People need to get um, indignant and, uh, and and instead of saying, and she, Kathy Sierra points this out, there's just kind of this general, oh, uh, there must be some merit to what he's saying kind of a thing. Right, right, because because you're public and, 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 and public people deserve this. Yeah. You put yourself out there, so yeah. so you're exposed, so you, so what, what, what happens to slap you in the face, you deserve. Uh, obviously wrong, obviously ridiculous, and we need more discussions. I mean, I'll make another horrid, ridiculous equivalency that I don't mean to make equivalent. But what do we hear in the discussion about terrorism and Islam? Well, why don't we hear more Islam? As da, 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 da? Well, we do. But what gets attention is the terrorists. It's the fault of media to a great extent. It's the fault of of conversations. Um, and and you know when you look at at, at uh, in London there were stories that when the 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 Brit was beheaded, the the is the Muslim community in the UK expressed outrage. Okay, so there's a story where it got there. You know it's always been there. You know it's been there. No no doubt about that. There's a hashtag not in our name. Yes, right. So so it used the tools to try to turn around and and, and we need more and, of that. Exactly, and we need the same thing. With trolls, we need to. We need to. The problem is, this is where you get into the Kathy Sierra, you know, horrible thing here. What you pro the first step is we all have to ignore them. If you point to a troll, you are equally guilty of whatever that troll has done. Full stop. You are complicit in a troll's crime. Oh, isn't that funny? Look at the fight. Oh, it's just funny. It's just lulls. No, sucker, you just did it yourself. You are an accomplice to the crime. If you look at pictures of Jennifer Lawrence, you are committing a sex crime. She's right. If you can't look at child porn because it's wrong, then how can you look at the stolen photo and say it's right? You are responsible for the behavior. So at a level of ignoring, we have to get to there. Then there's the question of, do we get to a level of condemnation? Does that just give the trolls what they want? Oh, I, I, I kicked up a storm, maybe. But at least we have to get to the level of ignoring. And And, and, and what we have to do is, Rather than shaming the troll, shame the people who point to the troll. And I've done that. I've, I've gone to people and I've said, did you really want to give that guy attention? Did you really want to do that? And then I've people, reasonable people say, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. That was wrong. So we all have a responsibility to do that. So shame, ignore the trolls, and shame the troll promoters. And that's, yeah, and that's using uh, social norms. To correct yes. us, and it, you it's know what? The only the, thing that's going to happen if we don't no succeed law, at this, no technology. If we don't succeed at this, everybody worthwhile is going to pull back. We're going to lose the 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 discourse. We're going to lose the potential of the internet. It'll it'll become a wasteland because anybody who has any sense will just stay out of the public eye. Yes, and exactly. you don't want that. You don't. And you but want women in the game industry. You want women in technology. You don't want all women just to say, God, this is a crappy place to be. I don't want to participate. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. That's the the kind of the insight that I had about all this. And I have to say that Kathy's, that, that, that essay she wrote really was. Um, Everybody should has, read it. If you have any yeah. doubt, if you say, oh, no, this isn't that bad, read it. And then take. Decided. It was definitely a bit of a reckoning for me, right? Because I, I mean, I build a product whose premise, think up, whose premise is that participating on the public network is a good thing. Period, right? And and, and I and I don't know. I mean, this 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 situation. You know, I think the more I think about it, the more I I, I wonder about that. I mean, I, I do believe that. I want to believe that, but it gets harder when this yeah. stuff happens. And yeah. one of the insights that I've had is that the the social networks that I love and feel safest, um, especially around sharing, are not public networks. Like yep. my favorite social network is a private mailing list yep. that a friend of mine set up. 
that is friends of friends. Everybody knows someone else through someone other context. And, and it's, and it's incredible. And I, and I grow from it and it feeds my soul and it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel safe. And I share and, and a similar thing. I'm subscribed to a friend of mine who has a tiny letter, which is a, like an email newsletter. And she, um, she wrote a, a, a response actually to Kathy's post saying that she, you know, she, she didn't have a public response, but these are some of the thoughts that are going through her head after reading it three or four times. And that was one of those things I was like, okay, yes, this is, this is going on. It was kind of, it was a level of discourse that wasn't going on in my public feeds. I mean, part of it is that Twitter is, isn't, isn't fit for long form <laughs> discourse because it's, it's, it's uh, 140 characters, but it feels like the, like networks like Twitter and Facebook are more about sort of public performance Whereas the networks where I share with my friends and and interact and sort of you know uh, and and learn and grow are more are semi semi public, not totally public.